Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahirabbil alamin wassalatu wassalamu ala asrafil anbiya wal mursalin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajmain. Allahumma salli ala sayidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa barik wasallim. Alhamdulillah first and foremost let us express our gratitude to Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us the opportunity to continue our life and alhamdulillah we are still in the month of Ramadan and this episode uh, Ramadan and management day 13 uh, you you will be with me uh, to get some insights about Ramadan and management so for today i'm going to talk about the effort uh, the effort or the advocacy in management uh, so we're talking about managers have to work with people and through people to achieve the goal of organization with efficiency and effectiveness okay in order to work with people uh, we have to understand the people nature and also the capability of the people that we are working with okay in order to understand managers have also to provide the examples uh, leading by example leading by doing and also leading by uh, uh, leading by the objectives so therefore as managers we are also the figurehead we are also leader and also uh, uh, and also the symbols of togetherness in organization and therefore in order to influence in order to work with we have to understand the nature of uh, our influence yeah we have we can categorize the influence and also the circle of our influence into a micro level meso level and also the macro level all right at the micro level of our da'wah bil hal is that we will be showing not just telling telling is one showing is another but the showing or the actions are louder than the telling or the words okay. uh, therefore we have to show to them working together with them by showing them what actually we wanted our employees to achieve and with efficiency and effectiveness most of the time managers who are in charge in in any organization they would like to do things uh, to showcase their legacy as a result we end up with a lot of reinventing the wheel and also redundancy and waste and therefore managers have to get rid of the personal uh, interest and personal agenda you know, when they are dealing uh, with the people in organization similarly in ramadan ramadan constrain us from our desire personal interest and also personal agenda uh, even though ramadan is about developing and regenerating our personality to be piety uh, to be pious to have integrity and sincerity but with the perspective of our roles as servants and vice-servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Ramadan, we are, we are encouraged to help people. So even in the breaking of fast, we are encouraged to share with others. No matter how small uh, things that we have, so we are encouraged to share. The sharing and caring is actually the leading by example and leading by doing which is actions uh, louder than the words so the, at the meso level uh, whereby uh, you will bring together your employees into the stakeholders into the community uh, to bring the the goodness that you have from your organization and at the micro level you will be contributing to the sustainability to the mercy and also to the well-being of the people so for example uh, the world has decided to the sustainable development goal or 17 goal so we can use this as a platform for us uh, to get into 
the participation in the world. So we have to be the uh, drivers, we have to be the leaders, and at the same time also, we have also to make ourselves good followers and also passengers. With that, may Allah bless all of us. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.